20 biggest guard dogs in the world, while these giant breeds can take on the fiercest predators, burglars, and intruders, it doesn't stop them from being the sweetest pride to their owners. You may pick judging by loyalty, dominance, or just basically size. Still, these majestic canines can perform just about the same functions when you look at them. From the wonderfully loyal Caucasians to the world's tallest wolfhound, here are the 20 biggest guard dogs in the world. Number 20. Caucasian Shepherd This giant working dog breed is from the Caucasus region of Europe and Asia with a thick, medium-length coat and a big-boned, muscular build. The Caucasian Shepherd originated to protect property and livestock, and they are usually quite loyal to their families. It can also be strong-willed and independent and might not be the best choice for a first-time dog owner and maybe someone who doesn't have a home with that much space. For their characteristics, they generally have a very watchful and protective personality. Their breeding as a guardian plays a huge role in their temperament. These species need an experienced owner because without proper training, this breed can be very dangerous. They weigh between 99 to 170 pounds, with a height of 23 to 30 inches, and they can live up to at most 12 years and at least 10 years. The look of these dogs varied depending on the same region they were from, and there are still two varieties within the breed. The mountain type, with a heavier body and long coat, and the step type, which has a lighter body and a shorter coat. Caucasian Shepherds don't need an excessive exercise, but they do require early and consistent training and socialization. Their grooming is fairly straightforward, but can be a time commitment due to their large size. So I'd say get yourself one if you can be committed. Number 19. The Great Pyrenees This breed is a large, thickly coated, and immensely powerful working dog. Its job is to deter sheep-stealing wolves and other predators on snowy mountaintops. And just like the Caucasians, peers today are mellow companions and vigilant guardians of home and family. Also known as majestic, these dogs stand as high as 32 inches at the shoulder and often tip the scales at more than 100 pounds. Though they exhibit calm behavior, they can easily spring into action and move with grace and speed to attack a threat. Their lush, weatherproof coat is all white or white with markings of beautiful shades of gray, tan, reddish-brown, or badger, and they can live up to 12 years as well. You should know that since training takes a lot of consistency, patience, and positive reinforcement, the Great Pyrenees is not suitable for an owner who's reluctant to put in the necessary team. And even though these are purebred dogs, you may find them in the care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt them if you want to bring a dog home. Number 18. Comandor Although the Comandor's appearance might make you think they are developed to mop floors, this pooch has a long and noble heritage as a flock-guarding dog breed in their native Hungary. They still retain a strong protective instinct and will defend their family and property with their life. Also known as the Hungarian Sheepdog, they are the world's most recognizable breeds and are also independent and protective. <laughs> Like every other listed guard dog, they require firm and experienced hand in training. The Commandorg, plural for Commandor, is a powerful breed of guardians covered in profuse white cords. The males can stand more than 27.5 inches and weigh over 100 pounds. They also have heavy bones, a deep chest, and lots of muscles. The Commandor was brought to Europe by the Cumans, and the oldest known mention of it is in the Hungarian Codex from 1544. They have been declared one of Hungary's national treasures due to be preserved and protected for modifications. Despite the Commandorg's brawn, they are agile and light-footed and move with long strides. Fortunately, it is impossible to mistake Commandorgs for anything else with their unique look. Just look at that fur, I mean, cords. Number 17. Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff dog breed was developed in southern Italy as a family and guard dog. Today, this giant breed is known as a gentle giant. Although they might have a quite scary appearance, these dogs are sweet, calm, and steady among loved ones. But they are powerful guards whose astounding appearance has intimidated intruders since the days of ancient Rome. They weigh 50 to 70 kilograms and have a height at the withers of 24 to 30 inches. Surprisingly, the length of the body is about 15% greater than the height, and they can live for up to 10 years. Some fans of the breed affectionately call them the Neo, and others know them as Mastino. Unless you've been to Jurassic Park, you've never seen anything like a Mastino. These majestic guardians of stunning appearance are massive, powerful dogs. The U.S. Neapolitan Mastiff Club describes their dog's head as astounding, and gives them credit for hitting upon just the right adjective. The profuse hanging wrinkles and folds and pendulous lips make a Mastino look like a marzipan mastiff that's been out in the sun too long. And yet, the breed's inner dignity and nobility can only be described as beautiful. 
Number 16. Fila Brasileiro The Fila Brasileiro, or Brazilian Mastiff, is a large working breed of dog developed in Brazil. It is known for its superb tracking ability, aggressiveness, and unforgiving, impetuous temperament. Rather than attacking its prey, the Fila traps it and waits for the hunter to arrive. Owing to these qualities, the Fila Brasileiro is used as a guard dog, a dog fighting dog, a cattle dog for livestock, and a hunting dog for tracking and controlling large games. Colonist plantation owners used these large dogs to fend off large predators like jaguars. They were also used for hunting and would track down livestock like cattle. Sadly, along with escaped enslaved people from the plantations and gripped them by the neck, holding them down until the dog's humans arrived. That was when slavery was legal in Brazil in the 18th century. Despite their massive size, these guard dogs are agile. The Fila Brasileiro could chase up to 35 miles per hour for their plantation owning humans and then shift into a quiet, docile mode when relaxing with the family. Number 15. Dogue de Bordeaux The most ancient French dog breed, the Dogue de Bordeaux, was around even before France was France. These brawny, fawn-coated guardians of considerable courage are famously loyal, affectionate, and protective. The Dogue de Bordeaux was at one time known to come in two varieties, Dogues and Doguins, the Dogue being considerably larger than the Doguin. The smaller Doguin has withered away to nothing more than a mention in breed history books and is now extinct. Sad, isn't it? The Dogue, however, is an immensely powerful Mastiff-type guardian. Males can go 27 inches high, weigh more than 110 pounds, and live for up to 8 years, while the females stand 23 to 26 inches at the shoulder and weigh a minimum of 99 pounds. The short, eye-catching coat is a richly colored fawn, and the massive head features a bulldog-like undershot jaw, expressive eyes, and a deeply furrowed brow. It is, proportionately, the largest head in the canine kingdom. That's one way to put it. The body is stocky and close to the ground, but dogs can move like lions when duty calls, and they are known for their sweet and sensitive souls. Owners do appreciate their breed's loyalty to loved ones of all ages, but also say that they can be stubborn and will dominate those who fail to apply firm training in puppyhood. Finding a responsible breeder is simply the best solution when acquiring such a strapping superdog. Number 14. Borbles the Borbel gets its name from the Dutch, African words that roughly translate to farmer's dog. Borbels are intimidating but discerning guardians of home and family who learned their trade while protecting remote South African homesteads from ferocious predators. They are dominant and confident, also bright and eager to learn. And there's a no-frills, no-nonsense quality to this sleek-coated Avenger, who might stand as high as 27 inches at the shoulder and weigh as much as you do, or maybe even more than you do. It is a descendant of the ancient Molizer dog family, the foundation of today's Mastiff-type breeds, the fact being their broad and blocky head, powerful jaws, and thick muscles from neck to rump mark. In motion, the Borbel might just be the most agile of all Mastiff types and are known to live up to 12 years. The imposing Borbel is devoted to protecting the people and places it loves. Training and socialization should begin early before a pup becomes a dominant adult because it is a trainable, versatile breed eager to spend time with its adored humans. However, a Borbel might be way too much dog for a novice owner to handle. Number 13. The Kangle The Kangle Dog, also known as the Anatolian Shepherd, is a breed with a presence. Its size is enough to make you take notice or possibly run away. It's an ancient canine with a history that starts in Turkey. Its primary job was as a guardian dog and that purpose differs from the herding animals. Their role is to defend livestock against predators instead of moving them around a property. <laughs> That fact explains many of the Kangle dog personality traits. While it's an affectionate and loyal pet with its owners, it's not particularly friendly with others. It's not very adoptable and will not tolerate apartment living, so I'd suggest you think twice before getting one. While the Kangle Shepherd dog is often referred to as a sheep dog, it's not a herding dog but rather a flock guardian that lives with a flock of sheep to actively fend off predators of all sizes and then hunt them down. They weigh about 150 pounds, can stand as tall as 29 inches, and can live for up to 13 years. Their color differs by the gray of various shades with a well-defined black mask. Mask. The thing to bear in mind is that selective breeding and its associated job often determine a pet's demeanor. The Kangle dog is a textbook case. It's also another example where learning a pup's history is the best way to ensure that it's a fit with your family and lifestyle. Number 12. Akita The dog breed, Akita, originated in the snowy rural lands of Odate, Akita Prefecture, a mountainous region of Japan. They were trained to hunt animals such as elk, wild boar, and Usuri brown bears. The Akita is a large and powerful breed with a noble and intimidating presence. They were originally used for guarding royalty and nobility in feudal Japan. 
These dogs also tracked and hunted wild boar, black bear, and sometimes deer. Akita is a muscular, double-coated dog of ancient Japanese lineage famous for her dignity, courage, and loyalty. In her native land, she's revered as a family protector and symbol of good health, happiness, and long life. They are burly, heavy-boned, spitz-type dogs of imposing stature, standing 24 to 28 inches at the shoulder. Akitas have a dense coat that comes in several colors, including white. The head is broad and massive and is balanced in the rear by a full, curled-over tail. The erect ears and dark, shining eyes contribute to an expression of alertness, a hallmark of the breed. They are also quiet, fastidious dogs, wary of strangers and often intolerant of other animals. Akitas will gladly share their silly, affectionate side with family and friends. They thrive on human companionship. The large, independent-thinking Akita is hardwired for protecting those they love, but they must be well socialized from birth with people and other dogs. Number 11. Rottweiler like the mythical Greek hero Hercules, the Rottweiler is strong and true with a loving heart. Affectionately called Rotties or Rots, the breed originated in Germany, where they were originally dogs bred to drive cattle to market. Later, they were used to pull carts for butchers. They are among the earliest police dogs and served honorably in the military. The Rottweiler is a robust working breed of great strength descended from mastiffs of the Roman legions. A gentle playmate and protector within the family circle, the Rottie observes the outside world with a self-assured aloofness. The male Rottweiler will stand from 24 to 27 inches at the shoulder. Females run slightly smaller and lighter. The glistening, short black coat with smart rust markings adds to the picture of imposing strength. As wonderful as Rottweilers can be, they aren't the dog for everyone. You must not only be dedicated to training and socializing your Rottie, but you must also deal with people who don't understand the breed and prejudge it. Due to bad or tragic experiences with Rottweilers or other large breeds, some cities have banned the breed. It's unfair to judge an entire species by the actions of a few, but it's a reality you will have to deal with if you own a Rottweiler. Despite what you might have heard, Rottweilers are not temperamentally unsound or inherently vicious. Well-bred, well-socialized Rotties are playful, gentle, and loving their families. Number 10. Boxers Boxers are the whole doggy package. Loyalty, affection, intelligence, work ethic, and good looks. Bright and alert, sometimes silly, but always courageous, the boxer has been among America's most popular dog breeds for a very long time. A male can stand as high as 25 inches at the shoulder, while females run smaller. Their muscles ripple between a short, tight-fitting coat. The dark brown eyes and wrinkled forehead give the face an alert, curious look. The coat can be fawn or brindle, with white markings, and they move like the athletes they are named for, smooth and graceful, with a powerful forward thrust. Boxers are also upbeat and playful. Watching a boxer run is a delight. They are so exuberant, happy, and graceful. It's sure to bring a smile to your face, especially if they start jumping, something they love to do, twisting and even turning somersaults to entertain you. Their patience and protective nature have earned them a reputation as great dogs with children. They take the jobs of watchdog and family guardians seriously and will meet threats fearlessly. Boxers do best when exposed to a lot of people and other animals in early puppyhood, which is why you should adopt one now. Number 9. Doberman Pinscher The Doberman Pinscher is one of dog kind's noblemen. They are sleek and powerful, possessing a magnificent physique and keen intelligence. Originated in Germany during the late 19th century, they were mostly bred as guard dogs. Their exact ancestry is unknown, but they're believed to be a mixture of many dog breeds, including the Rottweiler, Black and Tan Terrier, and German Pinscher. Because the Doberman Pinscher came into existence at the end of the 19th century, they are the new kid on the block in the world of dogs. This hasn't stopped the Doby, as they're affectionately called, from becoming one of the most popular and recognized breeds in the United States. Dobermans are compactly built dogs, muscular, fast, and powerful, standing between 24 to 28 inches at the shoulder. They are large at 60 to 80 pounds and happen to be extremely active. The body is sleek but substantial and is covered with a glistening coat of black, blue, red, or fawn with rust markings. Originally, Dobie's ears were cropped to increase their ability to locate sounds and tail docking gave the breed a more streamlined look. North American breeders usually dock the tails and crop the ears of Doberman puppies, though it's not mandatory. Docking and ear cropping are illegal in some countries. I think they look cute just the way they are. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Number 8. Cane Corso The Cane Corso is one of many Mastiff-type dogs. This type of breed was developed in Italy and is said to descend from Roman war dogs. They are more lightly built than their cousin, the Neapolitan Mastiff, and were bred to hunt game, guard property, and be an all-around farmhand. 
The Corso's lineage goes back to ancient Roman times, and the breed's name roughly translates from the Latin as bodyguard dog. They are at nearly 28 inches at the shoulder and often weigh more than 100 pounds. They have large heads, alert expressions, and muscle rippling beneath their short, stiff coat. At a glance, you can tell just how intimidating they look. Luckily, this imposing appearance is their first line of defense against intruders. Corsis are intelligent, loyal, eager to please, versatile, and immensely loyal to their humans, but are also assertive and willful and can end up owning an unwitting owner. <laughs> As with any other big guardian dog, responsible breeding and early socialization with people and other dogs are vital. One thing about this breed is that they'll definitely need their humans to give them a task, otherwise they may find their own ways to reduce boredom, probably with destructive behavior, so if you can give your dog plenty of space, exercise, and training, then this may just be the breed for you. Number 7. Great Dane Commonly referred to as a gentle giant or the Apollo of dogs, the Great Dane has been around for a long time. Great Danes certainly hold stature in the dog world, but though they look terribly imposing, in reality, they're one of the best-natured dogs around. For all of their size, Great Danes are sweet, affectionate pets. They love to play and are gentle with children, just in case you're looking to get one. The Great Dane was originally bred to hunt wild boar, but they probably wouldn't be very good at it today. <coughs> The ferociousness necessary to track down such a large, wild animal was eventually bred out of the Great Dane. They're now a gentle soul who generally gets along with other dogs, animals, and humans. They can stand at 26 to 34 inches tall at the shoulder, weigh 100 to 200 pounds, and can live for up to 10 years. The Great Dane combines its regal appearance, strength, and elegance with great size and powerful, well-formed, smoothly muscled body. The Great Dane is a short-haired breed with a strong, galloping figure, but their sheer size alone could make them impossible to control when they're an adult. And as with any dog, you never know when they might see something, they just have to chase. Number 6. Giant Schnauzer A well-bred giant schnauzer closely resembles the standard schnauzer, only bigger. As their name suggests, the giants are imposing. A male might stand as high as 27 and a half inches at the shoulder and weigh 95 pounds. These pups originated in Germany where they had jobs like driving cattle, working in butcher shops and stockyards, and even guarding breweries. There is no limit to the capabilities of a well-trained giant schnauzer. Obedience, agility, tracking, carding, and herding are among the dog sports in which you can find them competing. Originally used to drive cattle to market, they excel as a police and guard dog and more recently branched out to drug detection and search and rescue. They have a gentle and loving side as well, making them admirable therapy dogs. But the giant schnauzer's favorite activity is being with the people they love. Of course, to keep one means socializing and providing physical and mental stimulation for this breed to become well-mannered dogs. Whatever you do, don't let them become bored. A bored giant schnauzer is a destructive giant schnauzer. An essential part of preventing boredom is exercise. Expect to provide your giant schnauzer with at least an hour of vigorous exercise daily. They'll enjoy long walks and jogging. Just be sure to get one when you're up for the task. Let us know what you think about these particular giants in the comment section. Number 5. Perro de Presa Canario the burly Perro de Presa Canario hails from the same islands as the sweet songbird and popular pet. Originally bred for working livestock, Perro de Presa Canario is Spanish and means Canarian catch dog, often shortened to Presa Canario or simply Presa. The breed is also known as the Dago Canario, meaning Canarian Molosser. In addition to its role as a cattle dog, Presas was used for dogfighting until the 1950s. Although the prohibition of dogfighting was ordered throughout the islands in the 1940s, the activity secretly continued for the next decade. Unfortunately, with the introduction of the German German Shepherd Dog, the Doberman Pinscher, and the Great Dane to the islands. Interest in the Pressa dropped significantly, almost causing the breed's demise. In the early 1970s, a few committed breeders made a concerted effort to revive the Pressa, citing it as a rustic, functional dog with highly prized watchdog instincts, territorial and courageous. Its height ranges from 22 to 26 inches, and it weighs from 84 to 110 pounds, and has a short coat, which is slightly coarse to the touch, comes in all shades of fawn and brindle, with a black face mask. The breed is also characterized by a sloping top line, with the rear being slightly higher than the shoulders. Another characteristic of the breed is the shape of the paws and the cat-like movement of the animal. The body is mesomorphic, that is, slightly longer than a dog is tall, contributing to the feline movement. Number 4. Black Russian Terrier 
Known as the Black Pearls of Russia, Blackies are people-oriented and want to be close to the action at all times. They tend to be aloof around strangers, including dogs they don't know, but they've devoted their families and don't shed much. The Black Russian Terrier is a large, immensely powerful worker of heavy bone, coarse all-black coat, and are known for their courage, confidence, and intelligence. Generally bred to guard and protect, they are naturally aloof with strangers. <laughs> What's the adjective we're looking for? Imposing? Massive? Majestic? How about just plain big? This brawny guard dog of the Siberian steppes can tip the scales at 140 pounds and stand as high as 30 inches at the shoulder, though they're much taller when the huge brick-shaped head is considered. The two-soled all-black coat is warm enough to allow them to patrol some of the coldest habitable places on the Earth. That's impressive. Number 3. The Romanian Meoritic Shepherd Dog the name Romanian Meoritic Shepherd Dog refers both to the breed's country of origin and its purpose. The word Meora in Romanian means young sheep. Meorites are lively and stubborn, but they are very sensitive creatures in their furry armor despite all their independence. As puppies, they stick to the pack that has accepted them, which can be any kind of creature – dog, cat, horse, or sheep. The Meoritic needs very close family ties, a house without doors it thinks it would be ideal. Used for centuries to guard livestock in its homeland of Romania, the Meoritic Sheep Sheepdog is a typical livestock guarding dog. Loyal, reliable, independent, and fiercely protective, they are friendly and devoted to their families but very mistrusting of strangers. The Romanian Meoritic Shepherd Dog is a large breed dog standing between 25 and 29 inches tall and weighing up to 150 pounds at maturity. Males of the breed are a little larger than females in both height and weight, standing 27 to 29 inches tall versus 25 to 28 inches. Males grow up to 150 pounds while females usually top out around 120 pounds. It is a large dog with a long coat that requires regular grooming. Any dog of this size and temperament requires daily exercise and basic obedience training. Number 2. The Greater Swiss Mountain the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog is a large, immensely strong worker famous for a dense coat of striking black, red, and white markings. Dependable and faithful Swissies earn their feet as herders, drafters, and all-around pasture dogs. Greater than what? Well, standing as high as 28 and a half inches and weighing as much as a mid-sized human. A Greater Swiss might easily be greater than you. Swissies are immensely strong yet agile enough to move a flock across the sloping foot of a mountain. The coat is a striking tricolor black, red, and white. The head and muzzle typically have a white marking, the blaze, setting off a sweet expression. Several big mountain dog breeds are described as majestic, but Swissies practically invented the word. They are considered one of Switzerland's oldest dog breeds. There are several theories as to the Swissies' origins. The most popular thing about this breed is that they're descended from large, mastiff-like dogs who were brought to the Alps by invading Roman legions. The handsome, alert, and powerful Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, or Swissie, as fans call them, is relatively unknown outside of a group of dedicated enthusiasts. But if you own one of these large, striking dogs, be prepared to turn plenty of heads. Owners of the breed are often asked, what kind of dog is that? But while the Swissie isn't the right breed for everyone, those who are willing to love, train, and care for this large dog will enjoy wonderful companions. Number 1. Irish Wolfhound And we're down to the tallest guard dog known as the Irish Wolfhound. The defining characteristic of the Irish Wolfhound is its imposing height. It is the tallest breed of dog. But a good wolfhound is more than just a tall dog. It's a sturdy yet swift dog, capable of running down and killing large animals. It has a general greyhound build, only larger and stockier. It also has a harsh, wiry coat that can help them withstand cold, damp weather and run through thick brush without getting scratched. Irish wolfhound guardians would add that the best part about the coat is the distinctive long eyebrows and beard that impart a noble expression. Irish Wolfhounds have a heart as big as the rest of them. They are gentle, noble, sensitive, and easygoing, despite the fact that they can run at great speed. Most of their actions around the house are in decidedly slow motion, and they are definitely not snap to it obedience prospects. They will eventually mind you, just at their own pace. And just how big are these gentle giants? The males are at least 32 inches tall, and 36 inches is not uncommon. They weigh at least 120 pounds, again, many weigh much more. Even if they were to curl up, which they never do, it's still going to be one big dog. And that's it for the 20 biggest guard dogs in the world. Which one of these canines would you want to adopt? And why would you choose a specific breed over the other? Let us know in the comment section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.